Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to run native code, specifically Android code in LibGDX. So what you're going to want to do is create like an interface in your core project. Name it whatever you like, but name it something that it's you can remember. I would name mine native platform because I'm going to be running native platform code. So in here you're going to want to add any methods that you're going to want to call that this these will be like on every platform. See this I call show add because th that's what you're probably going to be wanting to do if you're running native Android code is show an add. For this tutorial I'm just going to show a toast message. So you're going to want to like pass it through like pass it through the constructors of each class so you can use it in your like screens or game classes and you can and so you can call it anywhere like show add from any method in your game so you're going to want to add um the variable of native platform and you're going to want to add a new constructor in your game screen or your application adapter And you're going to want to put as a parameter you want to do native platform or the interface you just made so you can pass it through each class or screen or game, whatever you did. And you're going to want to set the, the class variable of end platform to the parameter end platform so that you can use it anywhere in your code and that for that class see in your create method if you're going to be showing ads you're going to want to do it there or they won't show up because or if you show ads in the constructor then usually the ads won't show up because they'll be covered with the game so you'll want to do after your create Now your like Android launcher should be red because you need to pass through the new the end platform. So you're gonna have to create a new class for Android in your Android project called Android Platform. This is where you're gonna be putting your Android code at that you wanna call. You're gonna wanna implement the interface we just made called native platform. And you're going to want to override the method that we made called show add once I import this. Override show add. And this this code right here will not run on the UI thread, but I will show you how to do that soon. Okay, this code, you could run Android code here, but it's not on the UI thread though. Okay, so to get your project to work, or take freaking caps lock. To get your um, UI thread code to work, 
you're going to have to add a new constructor in your Android platform to pass in the activity so that you can run stuff on the UI thread. Make sure you import the android.app activity or it won't work. In your class add a new variable called context and it's going to be type of activity. And set your class context to the parameter context so you can use the context anywhere. Okay, so to get this right away, you're just going to create a new Android platform. And, pa and then for parameter, you're going to do this because this is the activity. So this is how you run stuff on the UI thread like ads or toast messages or dialogues or anything along those lines you're going to want to run on the UI thread want to do context dot run on UI thread then you want to create a new runnable like any other thread and then see this stuff inside the run will run on the UI thread and it will not it, you know you can do ads and toast messages and dialogue stuff like that so I'll just do a toast message and for the context you just leave it as context because that's what the activity is and that extends context so For the duration, I'm just do toast dot length long. Oh yeah, I gotta show it. And toast dot show where it won't show up. By the way, and if you run this on Android, a toast message should pop up when your app opens. Thank you for watching and subscribing.